Do you want to get into the gym? Don't really know where to start or what exercises to include in your program? Well, that's perfectly fine. We all start somewhere. And these are three exercises. Do you want to get into the gym? Don't really know where to start or what to include in your program? Well, that's perfectly fine. We all start somewhere. Now the program that I like to use is PPL. This is known as your push, pull, and leg days. I found that this helped me gain the most muscle while working the groups uh, that made sense together. So on your push day, you're pushing weight away from you, which is your chest muscles, your shoulder muscles, and your tricep muscles. And then your pull day is anything that pulls weight towards you. This includes all, your entire back, and your bicep muscles. And then your leg day is anything that works the muscles from the waist down. Now, let's take a look at a few exercises. Your first one is your landmine chest press. Now, this is something that you're going to include on your push day. Now, this isn't the only exercise that you should be doing on your push day. You should be including a few other exercises to work those tricep muscles and then a couple others to do your chest muscles. Now, I like landmine chest press because I'm not having to create my own path. I get to just follow the path of the barbell. So I take the barbell and I push it up against the wall. I take my hands. I like to use a prayer grass, but you can also put one hand over and your other hand on top. And I line my thumbs up with the end of the barbell, put my hands in that prayer, and I tie and line up right to the center of my chest. Now this takes some practice because you don't want to be too low or too high. And it, this can be done kneeling or standing. I'm doing a standing right now because I have a table. So once I get the barbell nice and lined up to my chest, I'm just going to push up and let the barbell create that path for me. Now, you should have your core braced, your shoulders, your hips, and your knees should remain in a nice straight line throughout this workout. You shouldn't be bouncing back and forth or moving side to side. Now, I like this because it helps you build some chest muscles to go into your bench press, and this is just a safer way to work that chest muscle without uh, risk of injury for your shoulders. So now, let's recap real quick. You're gonna keep your core braced, you're just going to keep your hands in that same grasp, either prayer or one over and the other on top of your hand, and you're just going to follow that path of the barbell. You're not going to try and create your own path. All right, let's look at something to add to your pull day. Now, this is your barbell back row. I use this in every pull day because I find it extremely effective, and I have gained a lot of strength from doing this. So let's look at the setup, setup of it. I usually use a barbell, but you can use one of the shorter bars or an easy bar. I have my feet shoulder width apart. I put my thumbs on top because it hurts my wrists to go under, but you can do it either way. So my thumbs are on top. I line them up with my thighs. And you're going to just bend your knees slightly, bend over. And you, to start out with, just start with a slight bend. Let the barbell pull your shoulders down, nice and relaxed. And then you're going to think about pulling your shoulder blades back, and those are the muscles you're going to be using. You're just going to pull your shoulder blades back, and you're going to let that barbell follow a path that's parallel to your thighs. Notice how my elbows aren't going way past my back, because then that turns into your tricep exercise. So then, if you get more advanced, you can lean over more, but you're still going to have that same motion. If you feel tension in your lower back, come up a little bit, and just still keep let that barbell follow the path that's parallel to your thighs. Okay, so with your barbell back row, we need to keep a nice, flat, even back, and we're gonna think about pulling our shoulder blades back to get that weight up. We're not jerking it up with our triceps. Now, let's look at an exercise that you can include on your leg day. These are known as dumbbell RDLs, but there's, um, a ton of different variations you can use for RDLs or many deadlifts. So you can use dumbbells, the barbell. You can use a straight bar, an easy bar, um, or even a landmine setup. But today, I'm going to do it barbell style, but in these pictures I use dumbbells. I like to use dumbbells just to get my form done because they're pretty light. I always stand shoulder, my feet shoulder width apart, hands on the bar, nice on, right on my thighs. And then you have to think about keeping those, letting the bar scrape down your thighs so that it doesn't get too far out in front of you and start to pull on your lower back. I bend my knees slightly and then I'm going to push my hips back and that's what's causing me to bend over. You're not just bending over. Your hips pushing back is what's going to cause you to bend over. Remember, keep your core nice and braced. Your shoulders should be pulled down by the barbell. 
Keep them right on your thighs and let it scrape down your thighs and down your shins. If you get only down just past your uh, knees and you start to feel real tight pulling your hamstrings and you can't go any further, that's fine. You don't have to go super, super low for it to be effective. Now remember, push back so that you're bending over as your hips go back and you're not just falling over. Now, your RDLs are going to take a while to perfect. It took me quite a while to perfect and it's a harder movement. But you have to keep your core braced with a nice flat back and your dumbbells or barbell need to stay nice and close to your legs so that they don't get too far out and pull on your back. And you need to think of pushing the door open with those hips to remember to not let yourself fall over. And instead, you're just pushing back to let yourself go down. So as a quick recap, let's always remember that when you first get into the gym, your weight is not important. You should be trying to focus on getting your form down to reduce risk of injury. As silly as it sounds, you can't lift heavy unless your form is perfect. So, when you first start, keep that weight light, light and do not be afraid to video yourself. I still do it three years later. Every, set, every exercise I do, I record the first set so I can check to make sure my form is just right before I move up in weight. Now get out there, have fun, 